Hello guys, today we will learn how to analyze the balance sheet based on comparative or horizontal analysis approach in Excel spreadsheet. Okay, so we will learn in this video. So to prepare or analyze the balance sheet based on the comparative or horizontal analysis approach, first we need to have some balance sheet data. Okay, so here we can see that we have some years of balance sheet data okay don't worry the year doesn't matter here you can see that uh, there are you know four years projected years and data and two years the past it doesn't matter i have just assumed that this is the you know uh, you know balance sheet okay and that shows the different uh, assets and uh, equity and liabilities value okay so based on these informations we can prepare the comparative balance sheet okay so without spending more time let's get started all right here you can see that this is the questions area that i have just copied from seat 2 to seat 3 and this is the calculations uh, area that uh, that is showing where i have colored the years okay all right so first uh, before i start to you know calculate the you know the comparative or prepare the comparative balance sheet first let me tell you what is comparative balance sheet so basically comparative balance sheet shows the financial positions of an organization over different periods for which comparison is made okay so what you can see that there are the you know different periods having different financial position okay so for these values we can convert this value into the percentage form that is known as you know comparative balance sheet okay so to do this here we can calculate from 2022 to 2026 because the 2021 year needs the 2020 years data and you can see that we don't have the 2020 years data so this years will be skipped uh, and from here to here we can calculate it okay so for this just uh, press the equal to sign and now let's calculate it so for this first we have to subtract that is the current year which is this one for this year minus the previous year which is this one okay now press the close parenthesis and here just put the open parenthesis okay and now click here and now press the divide sign from your keyword and now let's click this one that is the beginning year okay that means this minus this will provide the change value and if you will you know divide from the base number or previous number it will give into the percentage form okay and now press the tab you can see that and remember one thing i have you know changed the format from general to you know percentage form you can see here okay if you don't know you can you know select from here all right and shows the value up to two decimal places by using this tab okay now click here and just simply drag from here to here all right and now from here to here okay and now you can see that there is no any value or uh, assets item that's why this error is showing okay so for this just select this one and I'll press the delete sign from your keyboard to remove the error okay and now let's remove the bold from this value okay so press the ctrl b to remove the bold and similarly for this select it and press ctrl b to remove the border now for this one just click here and select the range from here to here and now press ctrl c to complete and now click here and now press ctrl v to paste it all right now you can see that the border has been removed because we have copied from this that's why this is showing so for this uh, we can you know uh, add the border so first just select this range and press ctrl v to bold it and now just uh, uh, use keyboard shortcut key which i am going to uh, press here so press the alt h b d and you can see there okay now similarly for you know uh, the equity and liability section okay we can calculate it same as this one so first i'm going to just select from here to here and just press ctrl c to copy it and now click here and now press ctrl v to paste it all right now click here and uh, go to the formula bar and now click here and you can see this uh, whether the appropriate cell is selected or not and you can see that our cell is appropriately selected okay so there is no needed to change this okay so now press the tab and you can see the value okay now for these two items first just you know select this range and just press ctrl c to complete and now click 
here and now press control v to paste it similarly for this control v to paste it all right okay now just uh, you know make this uh, row uh, bold because the non-current liability swing in board uh, you know bold form so press select this one and now press control v to bold it and now similarly for liabilities you can see that make it bold okay you can see that and for this just make it bold all right okay now for total equity and liabilities we can you know calculate simply select this range from here to here and now copy it by pressing the control c and now click here and now press control v to paste it all right now click here and just uh, press control v to bold it and now let's add the border by using the keyboard shortcut port key so press the alt s v t and you can see all right and remember one thing the total assets and the total equity and liabilities percentage both are same in each year you can see all right okay now we are successfully calculated uh, or prepared the comparative balance sheet okay and uh, based on this value we can interpret the result for example you can see that the current asset is increased by 120.60% and you can see here from 2021 to 2022 the value has been increased but how much you can see this by 120.60 percent similarly for uh, you know 2023 uh, you can see that the value of the current assets has been decreased by 6.81 percent how you can see from here to here you can see that in the year of 2022 the value of current assets were 45 millions right and uh, in the year of 2023 you can see that the value has been decreased to 42 million right so that the percentage is showing in negative form at 6.81 percentage and so on you can see this all right in overall what we can say that the total assets has been increased by you know 73.34 percent from the year 2021 to 2022 and uh, but in the year 2023 the total assets have been decreased by 6.29 percent you can see all right so this is the you know simple interpretation techniques so guys it's a very easy to prepare it and calculate it that's all for now thanks for watching this video if you find it useful please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel see you in the next video of this series signing off